Captain Ken here. Hey, we keep getting a lot of questions about how we got our solar set up. Um, we're on a Gemini 3200 catamaran. It's a 1990. And uh, we're completely on solar. We don't have a generator at all. And we get enough power from the sun to run everything we need on the boat. But I wanted to kind of touch base, give you a setup of what we got going on. On the top of our davits, I have a 285 watt sun module. Um, I've got a setup where it pivots on the front end and I built this uh, tea bag for it. But I have these poles here that extend. I have it hooked up to that. So I can actually raise or lower this panel depending on where the sun's at. And on top of our Bimini, I have two 190 watt sun solar panels. They are rigid fixed with these little brackets I found. They actually had Gemini written on them. I fixed them hard to our Bimini top. I added, added this brace to the back and I got rid of the straps and put that solid. And it's also bolted to our overhead here. So these panels aren't moving. The empty top's not going anywhere. And we've left it up in the hurricanes, if, uh, Hurricane Ian, we left it up. Uh, you know, the solar's on our uh, Bimini. So the two solars that are on our Bimini, they're both on a separate controller. The reason we did that is that the shadow from the boom, we don't have our, our uh, sail on right now, but it'll have a cover and a sail on it, with shadow on there, you can see it now. And if you had, a, had both of these on one controller, it wouldn't be as efficient. So they're both on their so own controller so that one will fully charge, uh, works capacity while the sun's out, and the one that's in the shade doesn't. So we go inside, the two, uh, we have two uh, Victron 75 con charge controllers. Those are independent on the Bimini's, on the 190 panel, uh, 190 watt panels. And then I have a Blue Sky charge controller. It can go from a 270, 340 watt panel. And that's what we have for solar. So for our battery storage, this is in our cockpit. I converted this over to a battery storage. I've got four Group 31s over here. They're 105 uh, amp hours each. And I built these partition to keep them from moving around. And then on this side, I have four additional Group 31s. I may have gone to overkill on the batteries, but we never run out of power. These are three years old. There's the date right there, 319. We've been running these for three years with no problems. I both, I do have these hooked up on a, uh, a battery switch where I can run either this group, this group, or both at the same time. I'll leave them both on at the same time, but if we have an issue with it, I can separate them and run off of one bank if I needed to. So there's one other thing I did. I put in a 2000 watt power inverter. Um, I use a lot of hand tool, power tools in here. So so that's our battery setup. Wanted to go over a little bit what we got in here. We do have a TV, all of our electronics, our Garmin's, um, GPS depth finder, VHF radios. We have four of these. Uh, they're called Stroko Camfro fans. Uh, these are pretty awesome fans. They're very, very low voltage. We're producing 8.5 amps on our 285 watt panel on the Davits. And we're at the 13.3 on our voltage already. And what time is it? And it's nine o'clock in the morning. So we're basically cap off pretty quick. Uh, it's daylight savings time. So we're getting uh, daylight at six, 6.30ish, I guess. So we've got, probably had two and a half hours of sun. Um, we also have a Dometic refrigerator. Um, our stove is propane. 
So, and that's pretty much our, our electric. We also put in a water maker this year, Seawater Pro. It's uh, back here in our port cabin. And uh, it runs off of solar also, guys. We um, run it, well, I run it in the midday when the sun's highest. Like I said, uh, I showed you earlier, I'm usually capped off. We're at 13.3, it's nine o'clock. So by 11 o'clock, I can run this uh, water maker. It produces 17 gallons an hour, which is more than enough for my wife and I. I can run it an hour a day and, and get by, but I usually run it two hours every other day. And uh, that gives us enough water uh, for the two of us. And it runs off of the solar also, so I don't have to run a generator with that. I didn't know anything about solar when we started. I just kind of jumped into it. But this, uh, this setup that we have is kind of, but luckily we uh, it, it hit a sweet spot and everything works out perfect for us. I can run my water maker. I got all the power we need all night and uh, we're fully charged, you know, before 10 o'clock in the morning at least this time of the year. So hoping this information helps you out. That's what works for us. If you find something that works for you, stick with it. Thanks guys. Hey, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and uh, share with your friends.